Even when I'm down Got my head in the clouds And my feet on the ground I got big dreams yeah, we got big dreams here at the Genius Lab. Toby here, your self-empowerment trainer, and we are having fun today. This is our 23rd podcast based on my new book, Release Your Shit and Reclaim Your Power. And today we are going to talk about comparison. You know, comparison is a bitch. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Okay, one of the worst things you can do, and if you really want to fuck yourself over, like majorly, start comparing yourself to others. Okay, <laughs> it's, it's one of the worst things you can do. And in our social media driven world, everybody gets to edit what he or she shows. Okay, and, and so it looks like Everybody has happy, joy, joy, you know, massive success, everything they do. They've got a closing rate of 68% or 125%. They close more deals than they even do. Um, they've got the pictures of the trophy wife. I mean, or the trophy husband. Sorry, I don't want to be sexist there. Um, but the bottom line is you only see what people want you to see. And it's getting worse. I mean, it's getting easier and easier to put these illusions forward. And uh, I remember a friend of mine who was like grossly in massive panic um, because they were so far in debt, they couldn't see straight and they couldn't pay their bills and they were getting ready to file bankruptcy. And um, all this they did were, were blogs and, and postings on how to create success. And I'm thinking... That's kind of bizarre. And uh, uh, a woman that I met at a, at a health expo, it was kind of funny because one year she was there and I said, oh, what hotel are you staying at? And I don't, oh, I'm staying with a friend. I'm sleeping on the couch. Things have been really slow this year. I'm, I'm uh, you know, just, you know, God, just trying to make ends meet. And bless her heart, right? It was really cool. The next year I went to the thing and she had this big book, how to make, how to manifest massively your dreams. And I'm like, whoa, what happened? And she said, oh man, everything changed. And so she started going over all this manifestation stuff. I said, well, that's all the stuff that was in your last book. It's exactly the same. What changed? Oh, I got married. Well, yeah, she married a multimillionaire. She forgot to put that part in her book, in her book to manifest millions of dollars, marry somebody rich. Okay. Now I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that. God, go for it, man. Uh, it, it would be nice if you loved them too. But the point is, don't say you're a man, ma master manifester when someone else manifested the money or the thing or whatever it is. Just be honest. But the most important thing is, don't, don't go by what people show you because it's not always true. Uh, matter of fact, I find it's almost always not true. Um, so, in the what what I'm going to talk to you about this time is what are, what are called power positive and power negative moves. Okay, and these are moves that influence your life. They're attitudes. They're ways of being. Okay, so power positive is the energy that moves you into your power towards your desired outcomes, and it supports confidence, self confidence, and your mission. Okay, as you can imagine, the power negative moves are just the opposite. Okay, they breed self doubt, they sap your power, they create a, a tailspin of, of frustration, despair, anxiety, stress. <laughs> and what we want to do is get you moving in the power positive direction, making as many power positive moves as you possibly can, and making as few power negative moves as possible. So I'm going to start with. One big power negative move is to compare yourself with people. <laughs> so one of your greatest power positive moves is to not compare yourself to others. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with five reasons you should not uh, you should not compare yourself to others. Okay, so this is your five reasons why you should not compare yourself to others. Number one, comparison steals your joy. Okay, I've heard this a million times, and I, I think it's really important because every time that I compare myself to someone, it's usually not for a positive outcome. It's usually a power negative move, and uh, when I compare myself, it's usually what they have that I don't, or what they're doing that I'm not, or what they're what they're having that I don't have access to. So comparison steals your joy, and boy, that's a, a, a 
big one to do it. Um, you just uh, <clears throat> want your joy to go away. Start looking at other people and what they put on Facebook and believe it to be true. <laughs> okay, second thing. Uh, comparison puts the brakes on your progress. I have seen this so many times in my clients when all of a sudden they're cooking along, they're rocking and rolling, things are going well for them. And then all of a sudden they're like, I don't know what happened, but it's like somebody turned the switch off. And I said, okay, who have you been comparing yourself to? Crickets. It's exactly what I get every time. Oh, uh, well, uh, er. and then we get, then we get on it. And, and basically what makes, if you want your progress to come to a screeching halt to where you feel like you're in a ditch or a hole and can never get out, start comparing yourself to what you see or what you think people are doing. Okay, because it's no, number one, it's probably not true anyway. And even if it is, who fucking cares, right? You're you and you have your own mission and you have your own thing to do. Okay, so comparison puts the brakes on progress. So knock that shit off. <laughs> okay, so next one, you cannot physically change who you are. This is a big one. Because, and, and girls, I'm sorry, but this mostly happens with women. I'm too fat. My boobs aren't the right shape. My hips are this or that, or I have a little bit of fat around my tummy, or my legs aren't cut like they were when I was 20. Well, you're 55 now, for Christ's sake, get over it. Um, you know, um, but you cannot change your, you cannot change who you are physically, right? So you've got the nose. I mean, unless you want to go to a plastic surgeon, which is fine. I have no, I'm not going to condemn anybody for, for trying to make themselves look better or be better. I'm just saying that generally you look how you look and you can get a facelift and you can get a boob job or you can get a tummy tuck or whatever it is that you want. You're still fundamentally going to look like you. So find a way to engage in positive self-talk about yourself. Find your assets. Okay. And the, it, it, it's kind of funny because I, I run into it a lot. Uh, again, sorry, girls, but it's uh, mostly with women and around weight. We live in a size two society. I remember my ex wife, she was like a size one. And if she ever hit a size two, she thought she was the size of an elephant. But what was really funny when I went to West Africa, all the American girls that were all, you know, their size four to sixes, they're like, oh man, they're too skinny. They're like bush girls. You know, they're, they, I, we want, we want women that have some meat on their bones we they loved what we would consider to be obese they loved the big big women because what that means is those women know how to find the food they know how to find the stuff and they've got the energy of earth in them and so it's uh, so much judgment is cultural right so it, it was funny. I knew this one woman. Uh, it, it, she was terrified to grow old. I mean, she was just scared shitless that she was getting old. And, and, and I don't know what she thought was going to happen. No one would like her. You know, she was difficult to get along with anyway. But um, she would spend thousands of dollars a year coloring her hair like every three weeks she would go in and have her gray covered and i'm like man if if you there must be so much fear inside of that person being afraid to have the natural construct of nature functioning in their body right <laughs> it's crazy so accepting who you really are is true power Okay. I'm not okay. It's, it's saying it's not okay to look your best. Like I said, you know, if you want to get your eyes done or get a boob job or, or, or color your hair, that's fine. But the thing that that's so interesting about this is like this woman was terrified, like every three weeks she had to get the fucking hair done or, ah, you know, the shit would hit the fan. That's fear and that's power negative. Okay. So next one, newsflash, nobody has the perfect life. Okay. We can look at all the billionaires ballooning around the world and going off in rocket ships and and uh, and starting Amazon and and on and on and on and on and on. And I get it. I see it, you know. I, when I see the 60 year old guy that looks like he's 40 and he gets into his Ferrari to head down to the beach to go surfing every day, you know, I get a little jealous. I'm like, you know, shit, you know, why can't I look 20 years younger? And, and his life is so cool. And compared to that, mine sucks. And I, I totally know how hard it is to, you know, to, to go there. Um, 
I knew a guy that had a, an amazing guitar collection. And of course, I'm, I have guitar envy. <laughs> Those of you who know me, I have guitars all over my studio where I'm recording this right now. But uh, the, the, he was always going to these exotic places in the world and, and you know, collecting these guitars. And uh, he, just, he just loved it. And it was so cool. And he'd tell me all these uh, stories about these different people he made and all these stars that signed his guitars. And then he, I found out he had cancer. You know, we were only looking at one little tiny part of his life. And I was comparing him myself, my, him, myself to him on that level. No, I would not trade places with him. <laughs> so uh, it, it was a good education. And uh, he's a very cool guy. And I wish him the best. And uh, I wish I had his guitars. <laughs> the other thing is there will always be somebody bigger or better than you. Okay. So here's a really funny story. One of my business associates back in the day, um, he, he was a venture capitalist. He was a pirate. He used to raid companies, take them, steal their assets, load them up with debt, and then file bankruptcy. And uh, he made a lot of money doing that. And uh, he got to the point in his life where he uh, upgraded to a private jet. And he was very excited because everybody that goes to his alma mater, um, the, 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 the ordinary guys, they just drive in for the football games because everybody supports the, the football team. It's a school that's very well known for its football team. And uh, so, you know, all the alma mater for ye decades and decades and decades come into to the football games. So the ordinary guys drive their cars in. The um, medium rich guys, they like fly their Cessna in. And then the really rich guys who have made it, they come in in their jets. And he was so excited because he bought this new Citation jet and it was the shit. And what was really funny is he landed and everybody's like, oh, there's so-and-so in his new jet. Wow, that's so cool. And then about 10 seconds later, Phil Knight comes in. in and Phil Knight's the guy who founded Nike, if you, some of you don't know, um, a multi-multi-billionaire. And uh, so he comes flying in in a G5 and everybody took their eyes off the citation just as this guy was coming out waiting to be admired by everybody. And they were watching Phil Knight's G5 land. There's always somebody bigger and better. I have a friend who's a, a, an air, air traffic controller at uh, an airport where there is uh, a lot of commerce. And he talks about these uh, Saudis that come in in their private 747s. And uh, they come in and buy racehorses and they have a full veterinary hospital in the lower part and a massively luxurious upper. You know, so even if you have a G5, it doesn't even begin, begin to compare there. So there's always somebody bigger and better. So just get over it, right? It's, it's not worth comparing yourself because whoever you compare yourself to is comparing their, themselves to someone else. So if you want to stay happy, knock that shit off, quit comparing yourself. OK, so it just so happens that we're born, according to ancient yoga tradition, we're born with um, with three human traits. OK, and they're called the three malas. There's the anava mala, which means we are intrinsically flawed. It's creating feeling. It creates feelings of unworthiness and kind of the. The, the source of, of incompetence that we experience is, is, the, is the anava mala. And uh, it, rise, it brings insecurity and sadness. It's connected to your heart. Then there's the um, M-A-Y-I-A, -A, Maya, Allah, Mala. <laughs> That's a mouthful. And this is comparison. It's the perception of difference. I'm different. I'm separate from you. It, it creates comparison and feelings of jealousy and anger, and it's connected to the mind. And then there's the karma mala, which is the overwhelm. There, I can't ever do enough. It's the capacity for limited activity and the feeling of inability to act of, and not doing enough. It, you get worried, you're in fear, and it's connected to the body. It's, it's the stressor. The thing that's important is awareness and clarity can help you become observant when the malas come up. 
Okay. Even though you feel a certain way, it's not who you are. And with increased awareness, you can work with the malas, not against them. They become your allies. Oh, I'm getting triggered. Boom. So you understand that the, that you're starting to get triggered. You're starting to go on it. You you start to trip out. And, and I'm going to talk about the. Um, I'm going to talk about this in the in the next podcast. We're going to talk about the troubling triad, and uh, it sounds like a it sounds like some kind of a mafia gang or something, right? Um, so the thing is, these three malas exist, right? Intrinsically flawed. You're not good enough. Comparison. I'm not the same as them, and I'm not as good as them. Overwhelm. I can't possibly do enough to be okay. Knock this shit off. Let it go. Quit comparing yourself. Sounds easy, right? Awareness of your greatness. Awareness of your mission and your and and and, and what you bring to the world will help combat this and put you in a power positive move. And another thing that will help your power positive mood is looking up. Thanks for being here today. We'll see you next time.